welcome back to my channel if you're tuning in for the very very first time please take the time to like and subscribe over there um yes thank you so much for everybody who's been supporting me and yeah like today you are in for a beautiful surprise today we'll be curling my hair as you can see my hair is already wet um i washed it and yeah so we're gonna be curling it without using any heat we're basically gonna be using an entire old old t-shirt i cut an old t-shirt into straps straps Ooh. into straps and yeah that's what i'm gonna be putting in my hair to use to actually curl it so stay tuned is this even possible well look carefully and you will see first step is to make sure that you attach the end of the rag with a pin or a clip to your hair so that it's secured and the trick is to make sure that you twist around the rag so the rag acts as a curling tool and once you get to the end you come back and twist upwards to secure what you've just twisted and make sure it's tight the tighter the better the curl and then you finally make a knot and don't make it too tight or you will have a lot of tension on your hair before we can even do that let me just show you what i added to my hair i made sure to add the instant detangling agent from auntie jackie and then i add some black jamaican custard oil all of this is to moisturize and to make my hair soft then lastly i added some sheer butter from ghana and the consistency is very very weird but once it is on your hair you can see the definition of the curls are on fleek so it's a really good moisturizer if you didn't get what i did in the beginning just look carefully again and this is how you roll it you roll it around the rag roll it around the rag Well, this is me on the next day and wow i slept with this i look like a crazy woman but hey we gotta do what we gotta do and the advice that i can give you make sure to cut the straps into thicker pieces because it will give the curls a higher definition and yeah make sure to not use the part that is elastic that's why i have blue pieces in my hair so yeah that's about it I can't get over this curl definition like wow um, it's very easy to unravel this make sure that you twist in the opposite direction and yeah I would have left this as a hairstyle if I made smaller sections wow you can guys and can we just acknowledge the kills? I don't know if you see them, but wow, what a wow, what a, what a wow wow, oh my word guys, look at that curl definition, it's just so fleek, it's just so fleek, sorry about the lighting, oh my word guys, just look, curls, on fleek, I feel like actually just leaving it like this, but Obviously, that's not the purpose of this video, but look at that. And then there was one that just had to flop. Let me just show you. One had to flop. There's always that one child. Like, you know, that one child. But anyway, look at that. Oh. Look at that. Just let's acknowledge this girl. For the final look, what we do is take the larger section and section it off into smaller pieces and make sure that you twist it in the same direction as the original 
big piece um, so that you your curls are still popping don't unravel your hair too too much because then there will be a lot of frizz which is something that we don't want the whole point of this is to create realistic curls and yeah so in parts there's like in this section i unraveled it too much so some of the curls was um destroyed in the process so just be careful with that besides that this is how you do it and it still looks good frizz or no frizz the curls are still popping This is the final look and the curls are popping like i never knew that my 4c hair can actually look like this like i am such a proud queen at this moment and i um make sure that you actually try this and tell me how it goes in the comment section please do like and subscribe and thank you so much for your time